What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Thursday, May 6th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a seven game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Stephen Curry from the Golden State Warriors playing the Oklahoma City Thunder, who have the absolute worst defense overall, and they give up the seventh most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Stephen Curry has averaged 47.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 34% usage rate. He scored 56, 57, and 44 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 37, 35, and 30 minutes. And in those games, he had a 41, 41, and 43% usage rate. So his usage rate is up almost 20%. So he's projected at 47.3 fantasy points here tonight. I think he can score 50 fantasy points or more and get you five times value or more He's 9,900 FanDuel salary, and he's 700 more on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 228.5 points scored in this game, and Stephen Curry scored 61 fantasy points in his last game versus the OKC. It's a great matchup, so I like Stephen Curry here versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Another point guard that I like is Kyle Lowry from the Toronto Raptors playing the Washington Wizards who have the third worst defense overall and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Kyle Lowry has averaged 35.8 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 22% usage rate. He scored 58 fantasy points last game, played 40 minutes, and he's projected at 37 fantasy points here tonight. Now on FanDuel, that's 4.5 times value because he's 8,200 FanDuel salary, but he's 500 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. He scored 41, 32, 42, and 43 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Wizards. Vegas thinks there's going to be 233.5 points scored in this game. It's a fantastic matchup. So I like Kyle Lowry here versus the Washington Wizards. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I'm going to give you a couple of uh, value or mid-range plays here. Starting off with a mid-range play. I like Dylan Brooks from the Memphis Grizzlies playing the Detroit Pistons who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall, and they're middle-of-the-pack defending opposing shooting guards. Dylan Brooks has averaged 26.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 26% usage rate. He scored 24, 34, and 26 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 25, 35, and 31 minutes. He's projected at 26.6 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 30 fantasy points or more here, get you five times value or more. He's 5,500 FanDuel salary, and he's 500 more on DraftKings. He scored 29 and 33 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Pistons, and Vegas thinks there's going to be 220.5 points scored in this game. So I like Dylan Brooks especially on FanDuel here versus the Detroit Pistons. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. 
If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Now guys, just as a quick note, we just released a free DFS contest on Draft Dashboard for MLB and NBA for DraftKings and FanDuel. There's over $500 available in the prize pool. And this is a totally free contest you can enter as a Draft Dashboard member. So make sure to click the link in the description of this video, give Draft Dashboard a try, and you can start playing in our free DFS contest and compete to win some money. Okay, another shooting guard that I like is Jalen Brunson from the Dallas Mavericks playing the Brooklyn Nets, who have a middle of the pack defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing shooting guards, Jalen Brunson has averaged 22.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 25 minutes per game with a 20% usage rate. He scored 22, 26, and seven fantasy points in his last three games, playing 18, 25, and 15 minutes. He's projected at 20.9 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 25 fantasy points or more and get you over five times value. He's 4,400 FanDuel salary, and he's 300 more on DraftKings. He scored 25 fantasy points in his last game versus the Nets, and Vegas thinks there's going to be 233.5 points scored in this game. So I like Jalen Brunson here versus the Brooklyn Nets. And if you're looking for a good FanDuel only play here, take a look at Terry Rozier. He's only 6,200 FanDuel salary, projected at 35 fantasy points, and that's 5.6 times value. Now, I know LaMelo Ball has come back and is taking uh, some fantasy points away from Terry Rozier, but I think he's got a really low FanDuel price where he only needs about 30 fantasy points to get you five times value, and we know he's got 40 to 50 point fantasy point upside. Now, I won't play him on DraftKings because he's 1,400 more on DraftKings, but I like Terry Rozier on FanDuel here versus the Chicago Bulls. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Kyle Anderson from the Memphis Grizzlies playing the Detroit Pistons, who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing small forwards. Kyle Anderson has averaged 29.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 19% usage rate. He scored 33. 36 and 34 fantasy points in his last three games playing 30 31 and 27 minutes he's projected at 29.9 fantasy points here tonight but i think he can score 32 fantasy points or more get you five times value or more he's 6200 fan duel salary and he's 300 less on DraftKings. now kyle anderson he has scored 33 36 34 33 over 30 fantasy points in his last four games. So he's been on fire. So I'm gonna try to ride the hot hand here. So I like Kyle Anderson here versus the Detroit Pistons. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a risky, high risk, high reward tournament play here. I think he can get it done here tonight. I like Garrett Temple from the Chicago Bulls playing the Charlotte Hornets who have the ninth worst defense overall, and they give up the 11th most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Garrett Temple has averaged 17 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 13% usage rate. He scored 10, 17, and 13 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 27, 27, and 32 minutes. He's projected at 18.1 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 3,600 FanDuel salary, and he's 100 less on DraftKings. Now, I like this pick because he scored 14, 27, 36, 21, and 18 fantasy points 
in his last five games versus the Hornets. So I think he makes a good high risk, high reward tournament play. So I like Garrett Temple here versus the Charlotte Hornets. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. So I think this is a really good DraftKings play, a super value play over there on DraftKings. I like Brandon Clark from the Memphis Grizzlies playing the Detroit Pistons, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the fourth most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Brandon Clark has averaged 24.8 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 25 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He scored 28 fantasy points last game in 23 minutes. He's projected at 22.5 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 4,500 FanDuel salary, but he's 1,200 less on DraftKings. So the concern here is that this is a back-to-back, -back, but if he can get 20 minutes or more in this game, I think he's got a good chance of crushing value on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 220.5 points scored in this game, and he scored 26, 15, and 36 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Pistons. He just doesn't need much to hit value on DraftKings, so I like Brandon Clark probably only on DraftKings here versus the Detroit Pistons. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30 day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, another power forward that I like is Pascal Siakam from the Toronto Raptors playing the Washington Wizards, who have the third worst defense overall, and although they've been pretty good versus opposing power forwards, Pascal Siakam has averaged 39.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 36 minutes per game with a 26% usage rate. He scored 40, 69, and 28 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 41, 38, and 40 minutes. So he's been playing monster minutes, and he had a 33 and 35% usage rate the last two games. So that's way up from his season average, almost 33% up off of his season, season average the past couple of games. And he's projected at 40.5 fantasy points here tonight. Now on FanDuel, that's 4.7 times value because he's 8,600 FanDuel salary, but he's 500 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. So Vegas thinks there's going to be 233.5 points scored in this game. So I like Pascal Siakam, especially on DraftKings here versus the Washington Wizards. Okay, moving on to the center position. I'm gonna roll the dice once again. High risk, high reward play here, but I think his chances of scoring over 30 are better than his chances of scoring under 30. So I like Andre Drummond from the LA Lakers playing the LA Clippers, who have a good defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing centers. Andre Drummond has averaged 38.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. He scored 9, 37, and 29 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 21, 25, and 24 minutes. He's projected at 35.4 fantasy points here tonight, but because he's not playing a ton of minutes, I think that projection should be more like 32, 33 fantasy points, but that would still be five times value or more, and he's 6,600 FanDuel salary, and he's 300 more on DraftKings. So I like Andre Drummond here versus the LA Clippers. Okay, now here's a nice value play for you. I like Moses Brown from the Oklahoma City Thunder playing the Golden State Warriors, who have an 11th 
who have the 11th worst defense overall, and they give up the seventh most fantasy points to opposing centers. Moses Brown has averaged 22.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 21 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He scored 32, 17, and 23 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 29, 14, and 17 minutes. So the basis on this pick is that he scored, uh, he played 29 minutes last game, scoring 32 fantasy points. So I'm hoping he can get 25 to 30 plus minutes in this one. Now he's projected at 23.3 fantasy points here tonight. I think he can score at least 25 fantasy points and get you over five times value. He's 4,900 FanDuel salary and he's 100 less on DraftKings. And he scored 40 fantasy points in his last game versus the Warriors. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 228.5 points scored in this game. It's a good matchup. So I like Moses Brown here versus the Golden State Warriors. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smiggity smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.